So here's the deal. This is Linda Dietz, a transformational healer, teacher, speaker, edutainer, soul card consultant, hand analyst, uh, going live here from Des Moines. Uh, today I'm approaching things a little bit more seriously, although today has been a little bit more not serious. Uh, but I wanted to throw out a question. Uh, how many of you have ever had a point in your life where you really needed to uh, let go of something that you really loved, that you knew that you'd come to a point, especially in a relationship where you'd let go of a, a direction or where you'd moved on and it was time to move on, but there was still so much love in your heart uh, that making the transition and uh, allowing the highest good for all concerned to to really operate. I was working with my coach uh, yesterday and we were delving deep into some of the things I'm working on myself and I'm this is not only is this part of my assignment but I'm reaching out because I found that we learn best uh, what we teach. Uh, and sharing from the heart is a way of teaching. And um, healers need healers just as much as anyone else. And, you know, there's, I'm just kind of curious as to if anyone is finding at, at this time that they might be at a crossroads in life. And we had a discussion, and I was saying, well, it's hard for me to let go when. I can't imagine anything better than what I have. And she brought up the point of, well, that's what trust is, is trusting in spirit, trusting in a higher power, having faith means to, to not necessarily be able to imagine it. It's simply trusting that there is something better or greater. I'm out here in a beautiful night. I just spent the day at the Star Conference here in Des Moines. And of course, as uh, spirit direction generally happens, uh, I wasn't going to go because I had all this work to do. But I decided to just listen to what I had gotten earlier in the week about going. And as a result, uh, met some very insightful people, got heard some of the things I needed to hear about trusting, about letting go, about working uh, uh, deeper within myself. And the first thing I walked into was a workshop on where the, uh, the gentleman named Grant was just crazy. He, uh, and it was funny and it was laughing and I started to see how humor helps us with perspective. And uh, I found that what, say, 15 years ago, I would have been very depressed about, very uh, challenged. Uh, I now am walking much easier through it, but it's still uh, having the ability to be able to let go in the face of a deep love is challenging. I mean, many people have to do this when somebody they love passes. But what about those times when you know you just need to move on? And the resistances come up and you keep hearing all the reasons why you maybe shouldn't or you really don't want to. Uh, does anybody else kind of go kicking and screaming to the altar, so to speak? Uh, uh, I mean, I'd, I'd love to hear comments and engage. Of course, you know, I'm available if anyone wants to chat with me. If you're going through a tough time or you're going through a, a period. When so, this might be coming through a little bit challenging because apparently I've just got the message here that my signal's weak. So, um, I'll just, I just throw that out today. It's like, um, any comments or any uh, ideas or thoughts on how you've helped uh, yourself walk through those times or the challenges or if you're having one now and you need some support uh, one of the beauties of uh, 
what we what we do in our quote spirit work and creating direction. My mentor Beth Davis, uh, uh, that I worked with with hands, and my beautiful mentor now Siddiqui Ray, Siddiqui Solway. Uh, there, Beth once said, "Transformation cannot be done home alone," and so this is a whole new thing. This is I haven't really ever done this. I haven't put myself out there in such a vulnerable mode. I'm trying to get that beautiful sculpture behind me in the kitchen. Uh, and, and, and being very open and being very authentic uh, with, with what uh, is a challenging time, uh, yet a very, I'm finding a very beautiful time, uh, giving me all kinds of opportunities to reach deeper, to go in. And, uh, just interested to hear if anyone else has comments or if I, if you want to need support or you want to make comments, feel free to do so. And uh, uh, come have a cup of soul tea with me. Uh, kind of heard a cute little thing, but, but I kind of thought of myself as a soul teacher. And uh, we all have this little cup of soul tea together. So this is the first in my little soul tea connections. Uh, and of course, you know, hashtag salty, hashtag surrender into truth, uh, and or surrender into trust, both are true. Uh, and what it really means to, to do that, and what it requires of you to really follow and respect, no matter what, and being willing to put yourself out there in a visible way. Um, if these things don't happen by accident. So, I'm going to wrap it up for now, but again, if anyone has any comments, they want to get in touch with me, uh, uh, for sure my door is open, and I thank you for being a part of the first cup of tea with me, and I hope you'll join me for other soul tea teaching connections. From my heart to your heart. Live your design, it's in your hands. Love you, bye now.